Hey guys, Rob Baynard, producer with LiveX here, and today I've got a couple of exciting new products from Atomos. This is the Sumo 19 and the Sumo 19M. So let me dive right into it with another unboxing. We're going to start with the Sumo 19 because it is the more fully featured model of the two. And I'll go ahead and cut the seal on the 19M because we will briefly talk about that as well. I'm going to get rid of the Sumo 19M and I'll tell you why, but I'll bring it back a little bit later. The 19M is the monitor only feature of the Sumo and the Sumo 19 is a monitor, recorder, switcher, uh, scopes, everything you would want, standards conversion, and it comes built on a aluminum chassis. The um, Sumo 19 is 19 inches and it has all of the features that you would expect from an Atomos monitor. I'm going to see what else we have in the box here. So there is a VESA mount that comes with it. This will go right on the back and allow you to connect it to all sorts of stands and monitor trees and things of that nature. But also one thing a lot of production monitors don't give you is a stand, a desktop stand. So these are uh, aluminum desktop stand feet for you to put it up on uh, a ledge somewhere. And then it also comes with an Atomos Master Caddy. Anyone who's dealt with Atomos products in the past will know that they use these carriages for the SSDs that you put into it. Also has an IEC uh, and power brick, as well as some screws for attaching some of these things and a quick start guide. So I'm gonna get rid of the box and all this other swag and we'll talk a little bit about the Sumo itself. The reason why we got these here at LiveX is because we were looking for some new production monitors and we looked at all the options that are out there. We have some very nice monitors from Sony, some Sony OLED production monitors, but this one had a little more features than uh, we were used to seeing in a production monitor. And so that was why it was an easy pick. Price point on this one is $24.95. The monitor only feature is $19.95. I'm going to remove the plastic up here. There's a, quite a bit of glue they use to keep this thing on. I don't think I would recommend that in the future, Atomos, on your products because we're gonna have to spend some time taking this glue strip off. Oh, it just kind of peels right off. Um, but yeah, it leaves some, leaves some mess there. I don't, I don't think that's really necessary. Because if you are planning on using this, then you're going to do this immediately upon receiving your Sumo. So, one note is that it's a little fatter than what you may be used to from some other production monitors. It does look about the same thickness as a Sony OLED. The only difference is, is that our Sony OLEDs are uh, like a plastic backing on the outside. This is an all aluminum outer chassis. It has a host of mounting holes that you can see on the front as well as on the sides, 3 8 quarter 20 mounting screws uh, for you to be able to mount all sorts of attachments and mount other things to it. Um, it even has some mounting holes up front here which look like they are for the sunshade. The sunshade is an optional accessory that you can get from Atomos or anywhere where Atomos products are sold. And uh, then other than that, it is a beautiful 19 inch 10 bit 1080p monitor that accepts 4K all the way up to DCI formats. And on the back, this is where the heart of the unit really comes into play. So what we have here, something that I've never seen on a production monitor in the past, are audio inputs. You have two XLR analog audio inputs and two analog audio outputs, as well as uh, a couple of different options for battery and DCI. These are four pin battery and DC connections. It says 80 watt max. They do have optional V mount and gold mount battery plates that you can put on these to power them in the field. Uh, we're typically going to plug them in, so uh, that's not a really big deal for us, but it is nice that they give you that option to be able to slap a, a gold mount or V mount battery on the side. 
Down here, as far as video ins and outs, we have two 12G inputs and two 3G inputs. So two 12G inputs is great if you have uh, two 4K signals that you wanna A-B uh, test and, and look at in the same window. So you can get two 4K signals in on one SDI there. The reason why it has four here with the other two 3G inputs is it allows you to take either quad link 4K or four 1080p 60 signals. And this, the Sumo itself actually acts as a switcher if you wanted to. So you can see the four signals in quadrants here, four 1080p signals, and you can select via touchscreen which one you want, and that'll be your program that'll get recorded to the SSD or can be output over the HDMI or the SDI. So that's really cool for those of you who may just want a simple monitor and switcher solution for four cameras or less, four inputs or less, that you can take into the field, and this is all you need to make your line cut. And speaking of the SSD, um, on the side here, we have the SSD carrier here that allows you to use 2.5 inch uh, SSD or HDDs. Uh, I would not recommend using any HDDs. I don't think anyone does anymore for recording. I would also make a note that on the SSDs that you buy, you have to be really careful to look at the read and write speeds and make sure that you have one fast enough to be able to support 4K if that is what in fact you are recording. What that generally means is that you're gonna want an SSD that is somewhere in the range of a 400 megabit per second or higher write speed. Uh, you can get away with less than that, uh, 350, I wouldn't go much lower than that, especially if you're dealing with DCI 60p or 4K 60p, uh, then you may run into some troubles. Obviously, it also depends on what format you are uh, recording in. So this will record ProRes and DNX HD. It'll also support raw recording from Sony, Panasonic, Canon, and some others. It also has full log support and HDR support. So if you're someone who wants to look at an HDR rendition of your log image on the monitor itself, you can use Atom HDR, which is a great feature. Anybody who's ever used a Flame, a Shogun, a Ninja, something like that, Assassin, then they'll be familiar with the Atom HDR feature and how you can also, in addition to Atom HDR, you can load 3D LUTs directly here into the monitor itself and create that look for your client output uh, while still recording the raw image if you want to. That is the Sumo 19. Uh, it is very solidly built, like I said, an aluminum chassis. It supports all resolutions up to 4K 60p, DCI 4K, not just Ultra HD. It has some fans on the back and some nice heft to it. It does weigh 12 pounds. I will uh, kind of caution you against that. So if you are planning on putting this in a case, I would recommend one with wheels. Do not put this in a case that you're going to hand carry. It'll get heavy really quickly. I would definitely recommend throwing it at a Pelican with a lot of foam that allows you to roll it around to your next destination. It does have audio monitoring right on the monitor itself, as well as all the different scopes, peaking, false color, any other things that you might want from a DIT engineering standpoint. That is one of the biggest benefits of Atomos. Every monitor that they do, they include a similar set of features. So if you're looking for to some sort of comparison, there aren't a whole lot of videos out right now about the Sumo, but you can look at some of the features of the monitoring from any other video on the Atomos Shogun Flame, the Shogun Studio, things of that nature. So go check those out. That is it for the Sumo 19. I'm going to bust out this Sumo. I'm gonna leave this right here, actually. And I'm gonna bust out the Sumo 19M. So the Sumo 19M, I won't go through all the uh, taking off the plastic and all that, but I will show you the major differences in the front and the back here. Um, real quick, we'll just look underneath. Comes with the same exact things that the regular full Sumo comes with. Let me just get rid of that. So here we go. Side by side, we can see let me put them like this. So, 
side by side, we can see that uh, the Sumo over here has a gold back. The Sumo M over here has the silver back. What you get are two 12G inputs, so you can't do quad split 4K, and you also cannot do the quadrants of 1080p that you might be used for switching. This one does not include the switching feature that this one does. Not a big deal because sometimes you just really want a nice color accurate 10-bit um, monitor and this has that. This also does not include the XLR inputs or outputs, but it'll still do a uh, down conversion on the output should you need like a 1080 signal out from the 4K. I forgot to mention about the regular Sumo. One of the things that makes this such a cool monitor to have in your kit is that you can not only use it as an embedder, as a de-embedder, you can also use it as a standards converter. It will take in like 4K 60p and spit back out uh, 4K 24 or 1080p 24 or whatever you might need. It, it does full uh, broadcast standards conversion right inside the monitor itself. I've never seen anything like that other than some of the other products that come out from Atomos, but um, nothing in this kind of form factor that will allow you to have a nice big display as well as full, you can embed audio right here. No need for your separate record of audio. You can embed it right into the program right there. So that is one really cool feature. And that is pretty much it for the Sumo 19 and the Sumo M 19. Once again, I'm Rob Baynard, producer at LiveX, and this has been another unboxing. If you like this video, hit subscribe down below and follow us at LiveX Production to get notified when we come out with more of these, as well as Ready Take Live, which happens on Fridays live at three o'clock right here in LiveX Studios. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and take care, guys.